As senior high school learners, are you aware of the different choices of professions and career? Do you know where to go after senior high school? The senior high school program has four curriculum exits. You can choose to be employed right after graduation or pursue the development of your technical and vocational skills. You can also decide to be an entrepreneur or pursue higher education. For a clearer understanding, the following are the senior high school curriculum exits. Employment, Entrepreneurship, Higher Education, and Middle Level Skills Development. Starting with Employment. The senior high school program opens up employment opportunities for graduates. Senior high school graduates of the Technical Vocational Livelihood or TVL track may apply for TESDA Certificates of Competency or COCs and National Certificates or NCs. Partnerships with different companies for technical and vocational courses expose students to the real world of work. Students also gain work experience while studying, and companies can even hire them after they graduate. Second is entrepreneurship. With the inclusion of an entrepreneurship subject in the curriculum, senior high school graduates are better equipped for small-scale business activities such as running the family business or starting one's own business. Third is higher education. By the time you graduate from senior high school, you will have the standard knowledge, skills, and competencies needed for higher education. Also, some subjects in the college general education curriculum have now been integrated into senior high school curriculum. These subjects will be taken out of the college curriculum, leaving only the subjects that are more focused and relevant to your choosing course or major. Middle Level Skills Development Standard requirements built into the TVL track ensure that graduates have good job knowledge in their chosen specializations. In the same way, that senior high school graduates are better prepared for college, they are also equipped for developing more specialized skills in technical vocational schools. These are the regulated professions per cluster, starting with medical and health, nursing, medicine, medical technology, radiology technology, nutrition, pharmacy, optometry, dentistry, respiratory therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy, midwifery, veterinary medicine, and for engineering profession cluster, aeronautical, agricultural, chemical, civil, electrical, electronics, geodetic, mechanical, metallurgical, mining, naval architecture, and marine, sanitary. For business, education, and social work professions cluster, accountancy, criminology, customs broker, guidance and counseling, librarians, marine deck officers, marine engine officers, professional teachers, psychology, real estate service, social workers. And for technology cluster, we have agriculture, architecture, chemistry, environmental planning, fisheries, foresters, geology, interior design, landscape, architecture, master plumbers. Now, where do you go after senior high school? Are you going for employment, entrepreneurship, higher education, or pursuing middle level skills development? Kindly answer guide questions. 1. Given the different career and life choices, through the senior high school curriculum exits and clusters of regulated professions, were you able to decide where to go after senior high school? 2. Did you find it helpful to know the different professions and other life choices? 3. What is the importance of considering the different factors in choosing your profession or vocation? 4. What is your insight about the statement from Confucius? Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life.